Uh, and one final question for you, Claude. Uh, recently, there's been a debate amongst uh, lab and pathology adv advocacy groups about whether DCLS graduates should be qualified to serve as CLIA lab directors. Uh, ASCLS was one of the first to take the position that these individuals are qualified to sit for accreditation. And I was wondering if you could expand on that position a little bit. I, I think kind of piggybacking off staffing so shortages, uh, you we'd be in favor of these DCLS programs and the individuals coming out of them. Yes, um, well, I was able to um, secure one of our ASCLS uh, Todays, which is our uh, membership um, periodical that we put out um, every two months for our memberships, and it's dated from 2011. OK, so it's been over a 10 year period, and this is talking about the, the headline is developing a doctorate in CLS DCLS program. Is it a piece of cake question mark? So this is from uh, one of our past presidents, Sherilyn McKenzie, uh, wrote this article about the creation of the DCLS. So it hasn't been around as long as other programs or other degrees have. Uh, we think we've done great strides to get uh, to the current position we are with DCLS. We have three current programs. Uh, those are Rutgers, uh, we have uh, University of Kansas at Kansas City, and we have a uh, University of Texas Medical Branch down in Galveston. So this one article is referring to a partnership with Cheryl Lynn. It was with the uh, the San Antonio Texas Health Center and the UTMB down in Galveston. So this was kind of the creation of the, the DCLS. Um, so the, the idea that it was presented to us from CMS as far as, you know, we want to recognize uh, the DCLS as um, strongly supporting the uh, director qualification and include this doctorate of clinical lab science as advanced professional doctorate degree as a qualifying degree uh, to be the, the lab director. And we applaud that. We feel like we have created the DCLS uh, we feel like that our members were responsible for this and, and still working on this, even to the point of the uh, creating the uh, an edit to the book of knowledge for the for the the doctorate program. Um, and now that if if you know CMS wants to recognize and we agree that they they should recognize it, and we would you know we're all on board with this because if you're in the lab, you understand that the leader of the lab lab director knows more about the lab work that's going on in there than another terminal degree and we have great respect for the other terminal degrees as the lab director if that's a phd that's great we're not gonna you know us versus them we're not taking that stance we're taking the stances we're joining them with this um, so it gives a, a smaller hospital a chance uh, to hire a DCLS to take over the lab as the lab director, and we applaud that. Um, we know there's more hospitals that could use this. We know this would be an option for our, our students to go in if they want to do the doctorate. Uh, it would give them a, another a job opportunity role once they graduated, and you should see the eyes of the students when we first introduced this, uh, the, the DCLS to them. Uh, because they see their their the sister brother programs around them that have doctorate level, whether it be nursing, whether it be PTOT, uh, they see that they see other professions in in health that are doing the doctorate level. So it's definitely a great option. Well, that's great, and it's definitely going to be exciting to watch that program and uh, those programs grow across the country in the coming years for sure.